As the natural carbon cycle has been disrupted by human activity, its effects have been displayed through the changing Arctic environment. But precisely how have our activities on Earth affected areas all the way on the extreme ends of our globe? How do greenhouse gases and the greenhouse effect affect our environment to produce such drastic changes? Let's go find out. First of all, we can start off by finding out more about greenhouse gases. A greenhouse gas is a gas in an atmosphere that absorbs and emits radiation within the IR range. And our four primary greenhouse gases are carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, and CFCs. Except for CFCs, the other three also have natural sources. Carbon dioxide can be released from activities like breakdown of biomass. Combustion of fossil fuels and agriculture activities also release gases, and refrigerants and other industrial manufacturer anthropogenic sources of CFCs. Many of these gases stay in the atmosphere for a long time, remaining even up to 500 years. Basically, the greenhouse effect is a process by which thermal radiation from a planetary surface is absorbed by atmospheric greenhouse gases and is re-radiated in all directions. And we will further explain this concept with a diagram. We see that first step is that 50% of visible light is reflected by land, sea, or atmosphere. The second step is that the other 50% of visible light is absorbed by the land and sea. The third step is that visible light is released by the Earth as IR, which is shown by the line here. IR goes out to space, shown by this line, while other IR is absorbed and re-emitted by greenhouse gases. The Arctic environment is located at the northernmost part of the Earth, and this area has shown a great deal of change since the beginning of the satellite era. Some ways we can describe these changes will be through our indicators, and these indicators include extent of sea ice, maximum extent, minimum extent, and sea ice age. Because of global warming, the Arctic is also getting warmer. Research has shown that average annual temperatures in the Arctic have increased by approximately double the increase in global average temperatures. Sea ice is decreasing, the age is getting younger, and is covering less area. Maximum extent is reached later than before and the minimum extent is reached earlier than normal. Also, due to the change in the habitat, many animals have also suffered from the consequences. Melting sea ice caused erosion and coastal inundation and therefore is affecting populations of marine animals, caribou, polar bears, and the people that depend on them. Recently, the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or IPCC, issued that human activities have begun to significantly affect global climate. IPCC also suggested that the rate of the future warming will be greater than any seen in the past 10,000 years. Greenhouse gases are produced by human activities. Due to an increase in the temperature, the ice caps in the Arctic will melt and animals will suffer from starvation due to lack of food. Burning of a fossil fuel is a significant example of human activities which produce greenhouse gases. This leads to a dramatic increase in the concentration of carbon dioxide. Most of the energy used by humans are provided by fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are burned to obtain energy and during the process releases carbon dioxide. So it is clear that human activities are great contributors of greenhouse effect which affects the changes in the Arctic ecosystem. Whether human activity is solely responsible for changes in the Arctic system will be debated by scientists, but for now, we believe that our activities like combustion of fuels have been affecting the Earth as a whole. These effects have been shown on our Arctic environment, and for now, we could all work on helping our world.